Deputies found 21-year-old Harley Alexander Shirley dead at the Sheets on Cornwallis Road in Garner late Thursday night. Shirley is the son of Lizard Lick towing reality TV star Ron Shirley. The reason I decided to leave Lizard Lick was... Have you ever turned over a rock and found something cool? Like, you flipped over a big rock on your lawn and there was a whole world of worms and centipedes down there? I'm pretty sure we all did that at least once as kids. But as adults, let's turn over a big rock and shine a light on something you probably never thought could be interesting. Tow trucking. None of us like having our cars towed, but it's a dangerous, thankless job. Someone's still gotta do it, and the folks at Lizard Lick Towing are among them. And if you want to make sure I leave no stone unturned, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss the next video. I've never done a video on this show before, so here's the rundown on Lizard Lick Towing. First, Lizard Lick Towing is technically a spin-off. Ron and Amy Shirley, the owners of the Tow and Recovery Company, first appeared on another reality TV show, All Worked Up. All Worked Up was about workers in undesirable jobs, such as meter maids, whose work consists of giving people bad news, as IMDb puts it. But Ron and Amy had something that got True TV's attention. While filming All Worked Up, the camera crew fell in love with the towing company. Robin Hutt, one of the executive producers, told the Raleigh News & Observer, We really fell in love with Lizard Lick. The Shirleys are dynamic and entertaining characters. The same article also called Ron Shirley a walking reality show. The network wasn't the only one who saw money in the bank. This led to Lizard Lick Towing becoming its own thing. The series ran from 2011 to 2014 and had a total of four seasons before being cancelled. It started on True TV, part of Warner Bros. Discovery. Ron's hairstyle and personality weren't the only things that made for good television. Being a tow truck driver is dangerous work. Even in bigger cities, tow truck drivers get yelled at, cursed at, and sometimes hit. So a tow truck driver is gunned down overnight, his vehicle left riddled with bullets. In the unincorporated parts of North Carolina, well, as one of the cast members put it, we get shot at all the time. The cast members weren't saints, they were people doing their jobs. So who were they anyway? Let's start with the founder of Lizard Lick Towing and Recovery, Ron Shirley. What am I gonna do? Ronnie. You want me to swing it? Hey! How about that, bud? How about that for swinging it? How about that? Come on up here! Come on, Ronnie! Don't you need a truck? Don't you need a truck? Don't be scared, boy! Ron Shirley started Lizard Lick Towing in Lizard Lick, North Carolina, with his wife Amy in 1998. He started out working for his brother at age 37. He thought his experience handling and selling cars could be used elsewhere and saw an opportunity in towing. He's also not afraid to handle the toughest of customers, whom, I'd like to remind you, usually don't want to be serviced. Meanwhile, Amy, a retired powerlifter, worked in the office and serves as vice president. She usually works with Diana, aka Big Juicy, making the less exciting parts of the business run smoothly. Amy's the real boss, according to Ron. The third most prominent member of the crew with the K was Bobby Brantley. Hundreds of fans remember Brantley's story. He started working for Lizard Lick Towing to pay off his $450 debt. After Lizard Lick towed his flatbed, he smashed a flower vase in the office and added, put it on my tab, before storming out. He later came back and used his experience handling heavy equipment to pay for that tab. Cousin Johnny Reynolds, Ron's real-life cousin, sometimes appeared on the show. He was also a jack-of-all-trades, able to do odd jobs on the fly. He also had a thing for Amy, but never left the shop. Made for great on-screen tension, though. Crazy Dave Eckler, aka KD, was the shop's main mechanic. He got his name from spending a lot of time in Australia, so the kids around him called him crazy for talking about platypuses and didgeridoos. But no matter what he called cars, he was great at fixing them. 
There were a few other small, recurring roles on the show, such as Bobby's girlfriend Cassie. Grace and Lou were more standard employees than anything else. IMDb also lists Brian Davis. I'll stick to the main cast for now. Regardless of who your favorite was, the show was cancelled in 2014. Why? Well, you're probably expecting something in the vein of Richard Rawlings. The showrunner was kind of a prick, it wasn't possible to film everything on a tight schedule, stuff like that. You might even add crew feared for their lives to the list. According to the News Observer article, the camera crew did get shot at. Look at it, I mean, this is ridiculous right here, but. Oh, both. I couldn't believe that one with pepper spray me. Ronnie had a gun to his head. Things got completely out of control. Depending on whom you asked, Ron was hard to work with. But the reason the show got canceled is boring, considering all the things that could have gone wrong. Put simply, Lizard Lick Towing wasn't doing well. The show received bad reviews. Among them was, of course, the usual accusation of being fake. We still don't have a real answer, but between bad reviews on IMDb and a meme calling fans of the show idiots, it seems like the network simply couldn't keep it going. And yes, I'll come clean. A lot of the stuff on Lizard Lick Towing fell in the realm of dramatic reenactment. Most shows are like this. Nobody wants to get shot at twice. Plenty of people will assure you that Lizard Lick Towing is nonetheless a real company, cameras or not. They will tow your vehicle and you will not get on TV. If you want to see how bad it can get in the city, check out at Tow Truckers on YouTube. Nothing there features paid actors. Everything is real, including the truck driver getting cursed at like a sailor. All the episodes of Lizard Lick Towing are streaming on multiple platforms. Prime Video, Apple TV, Google Play, and more let you pay for individual episodes. It's unlikely to come back, so all the fans can say is thanks for the memories. Lizard Lick Towing included the shop owners, obviously, but also had several recurring cast members. I've done my best to track down the extras and check in on the shop owners, so here's what I dug up on your favorite tow truckers. Ron and Amy Shirley still run Lizard Lick Towing and Recovery. You'll see a bunch of familiar faces, including Big Juicy, Cousin Johnny, and Swirly Earl, a driver, listed as staff on their webpage. Amy has a book, but most other jobs remain the same. Lizard Lick still posts things on social media, including a very popular TikTok account. The crew is doing fine, for the most part. Ron had a heart issue in 2019, but has since recovered. It's worth mentioning, though, that Ron and Amy lost their son, Harley Alex Shirley, on February 17th, 2022. He and his friend Sophie Hagee were both shot at a balloon release ceremony to honor their deceased friend Xavier Smith. Hagee survived but was paralyzed. Later that year, 38-year-old Diana Sarah Jackson was arrested for obstruction of justice. Four other suspects, three of whom were juveniles, were also arrested. He's the son of Lizard Lick towing reality star Ron Shirley. Now, two teens have been arrested and charged with murder. Diana Jackson is also charged with obstructing justice, and Cassidy Hunter is charged as an accessory. Fans of the show united online to mourn the Shirley's loss. Speaking of family, what about Bobby Brantley? Brantley left Lizard Lick towing in 2014. Most fans remember it as the season four premiere episode, but there's more to it than that. We used to have a team, but see this right here? This was a Bobby shirt, man. See that right there? That's a Bobby shirt. See that? Look, there's Bobby, there's Ronnie. That was us. That was a team. Here, cuz, let me lay it down in the mud puddle for you. Even if he did start his own towing company, it didn't stay that way. But his reasons for leaving in the first place are... My decision to leave Lizard League had nothing to do with Ronnie. It had nothing to do with Amy. It had nothing to do with Ronnie's family. Uh... Or, or Pops or Jason or anybody putting pressure on me to leave. The reason I decided to leave Lizard Lick was I felt like it was a time in my life when I needed a change, when Bobby needed a change. And I felt like had I stayed at Lizard Lick, that change would not occur for me. Ronnie and Amy, I'm not saying anything. They're good people. They've been good to me. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to miss them. For now, Brantley is coasting on his Lizard Lick fame. 
but in 2019, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor and told to take it easy for several months. He currently spends much of his time on Lil Ass Farms, a family farm located in Pilot, North Carolina. His girlfriend Cassie is now his wife, and they have eight children. Crazy Dave currently runs his own towing service, Dave's Towing and Recovery, but it's hard to get hide or hair of it. He's also appeared on other reality TV shows such as Storage Wars and Fast and Loud. Even though he says he does music, so many people call themselves Crazy Dave and one more Crazy Dave with a K that if he makes music, it's hard to find. Everything about his current projects is hard to find due to a lot of similar names floating around. He seems to avoid personal social media accounts. Interestingly, despite not working for Lizard Lick, Brantley seems to be on good terms with everybody. You can book Brantley, Big Juicy, Crazy Dave, and Cousin Johnny, aka The Good Time Gang, on Bobby Brantley's website. Lizard Lick even offers wedding services. Fans of the show can ask either of them to get the gang back together with a paid recorded video message with Ron and Amy or check Lizard Lick's page for where they'll appear next. Even if many of the fights were over-dramatized, many people enjoyed the secret lives of the towers in Lizard Lick towing. Have you ever found something that you never thought would be interesting, only to find it fascinating after digging deeper? What was it, and how much of an expert are you now? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We don't want to get towed by the algorithm, so we'll see you next time.